Google Sites is a free website builder offered by Google that allows anyone to easily create a responsive website. However, many people are unaware that you can actually turn your website into an online store to list and sell your products directly through your Google Site. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do this. Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome back to another tutorial and thanks for joining me if it's your first time visiting this channel. Now today, I'm excited to share the exact step-by-step -step process of creating an online store with Google Sites so that you can list and sell your products online completely for free. Okay, so before I gently take your hand and walk you through this Google Sites online store tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and turn your Google site into an online store. Okay, so before we go ahead and create an online store for our Google site, we first need to create a website with Google Sites. Now, if you currently do not have a Google site, then what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the simple step-by-step -step process of creating a Google site from scratch. And also what I'll do is link another Google Sites tutorial. However, this tutorial will guide you through the process of creating a Google Site using the pre-made templates that they have to offer. So go ahead and check out one of those tutorials if you haven't yet built a Google Site website. And to arrive at Google Sites, simply head over to your browser and type in sites.google.com and that's going to take you to Google Sites. Now in front of us, you can see that I've already built a website. This is a website I built earlier in a previous Google Site tutorial. If we navigate up to menu over on the left hand side, you can see that we have a home page. If we click sub menu under our services, you can see that we have these sub item pages, digital marketing, web design, online shop, and we have a contact page and a link to our YouTube tutorials. Now this is just an example. However, let's say that we wanted to add an online store to our website. Then what we would do is simply navigate over to pages over on the right hand side, then navigate down to the plus icon and click add new page. Then simply navigate up to name and name your page. We're gonna call this store. Then come down and click done. And just like that, we've created our online store page. If we navigate back up to the menu over on the left hand side, you can see that we now have a store page within our menu. Now, if I exit out of this and then navigate over here, you can see that our online store page is completely empty. We have not yet enabled an online store, added our products, customized our store, and essentially launched our website so that our customers can purchase our products directly through our Google site. And in order for us to create, customize, and embed an online store into our Google site, we want to use the free platform called Equid, which allows us to create an online store and then simply embed that into our Google site. To arrive at Equid, simply head over to your browser and type in equid.com or feel free to click the link in our description below this video. Now it's important to note that this link is an affiliate link, which means if you decide to upgrade to a paid plan within Equid, then we will get a small commission and this just helps support our educational based channel, so thank you in advance. Okay, so once you've arrived at Equid, simply navigate down to get started for free and simply follow the step-by-step -step process of setting up your Equid account. It only takes a few minutes and what we'll do is meet you inside your Equid account. Okay, so once you've completed the step-by-step -step process, you will have arrived inside your free Equid account. Now, the free Equid account allows you to add up to 10 products to your online store. You can also create up to two categories. However, you can add your online store onto any website. And for the purpose of today's tutorial, what I've done is created a completely fresh Equid account so that I can guide you through all the important features, the setup, the configurations, before we can actually embed the online store onto Google Sites. 
Okay, so what we want to do is go ahead and add our products to our online store. To do that, simply navigate over to the left hand side, locate category, and then select products. And under products, this is where we can add products to our online store. Now, before we do that, it's important to delete the nine sample products if you can see them down here. To delete your sample products, simply navigate up to this box up here, click, then navigate over to mass update, click the drop down, come down and click delete selected. And that's gonna delete all the sample products. And that way you're gonna have no products in your online store and we can start adding our own products now to add our first product simply navigate up to add new product and this is where we can add and customize our first product now the first thing that we want to do is upload product images go ahead and click upload images I'm going to go ahead and upload these four product images simply give Equid a moment to load your product photos and the first product example I'm going to use for the purpose of today's tutorial is a vertical bar necklace. Navigate over to name and add the name of your product. Then if you have a stock keeping unit, go ahead and add that in here. After this, we want to add the approximate weight in kgs of our product. Then navigate down to your product description and add your product description. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and added an example of a product description. You can also leverage the formatting options up here to further customize your description. As you can see over here, we have bold, we have a paragraph, and then we have bullet points down here. So take the time to add your description, then navigate up to pricing. This is your product price. We're going to add $49.99. Then come down and click manage pricing options. These are additional features that you do not have access to unless you decide to upgrade to a paid plan. So what we're going to do is go ahead and hide pricing options. Then we want to make sure that the product is available. Then down here we can preview what the product looks like. However, we're not finished customizing our product, so we're not going to preview the product just yet. Then once you've made any changes, simply navigate up to save. And then what we want to do is navigate over to options next to attributes. And this is where we can add options or variations. Now you cannot add variations unless you decide to upgrade to a paid plan. However, we can go ahead and add options. Now think about an option as different variations of your product. For example, with our vertical bar necklace, I can add color as the option and then have three values, which are three different colors. So for example, I'm gonna add color and then navigate over to input type. We're gonna select here and click drop down list. However, you have all these other options that you can preview if you like by simply clicking preview product and viewing what all the different input types look like. Now to finish our options, we're gonna come down and add a new value. I'm going to add three colors quickly. Those are going to be gold, silver, and bronze. And as you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and added three values, gold, silver, bronze. Now we also have the option to add a price modifier. This is say, for example, if each of our options had different pricing points, let's say gold was more expensive than silver, then I can go ahead and modify the price over here. However, these are just colors, so the price will remain the same. Then if you decided to add an option, go ahead and click save. Now let's go ahead and preview what our product will look like by simply clicking preview product. And this is exactly what our customers will see on our product page. I'm happy with that. You can see the option that we just added, gold, silver, bronze. You can go ahead and add what you like. And then you can see we've got the description down here. We've got sharing options, my account, track, orders, shopping bag. So I'm happy with my product. I'm going to exit out of that. And then we have other options over here that we're not gonna talk about in this tutorial. However, if we jump over to related products, this is basically where you can add or show. You may also like section to your product page so you can basically showcase related products on your product page for this specific product. You can go ahead and enable or you can keep it disabled if you like. Then next to related products, we have buy now button. This is where we can go ahead and embed this product on our website. Now this is a great feature if you only have one, two or three products and you want to embed each 
product on different pages or sections on your page. So rather than embedding the entire online store, you can simply just embed one product onto your website. Now, if you want to dive deeper into Equid and you want to learn everything there is to know about Equid, then what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process of actually creating your website through Equid. However, in this tutorial, we're just going to build an online store with Equid and then embed that online store onto our Google site. Okay, so what we're going to do now is navigate back and congratulations, just like that, you've added your first product to your online store. Now, if we navigate over to the right hand side, you can see that we can quickly edit the product. We can click the drop down, and we have these options over here. We can also duplicate the product, which is a great feature if we want to quickly add products that are similar to our previous products we've added and then you can just customize some of the details and make slight modifications to your product listings and you can also delete the product now what i'm going to do is quickly go ahead and add three more products to our online store following the exact same process that we used to add this product here so go ahead take the time to add all your products to your online store remember the free plan with equid allows you to add up to 10 products and just like that, I've gone ahead and quickly added three more products to our online store. Now what we want to do is talk about categories. Simply navigate up to categories below products. And Equid's free plan allows you to create and organize your products with two categories. To create a new category, all you need to do is click add root category. You can also add a subcategory. And then like you can see down here, you can add a description about your category as well as adding the products to your category. Now, because the free plan only allows you to list up to 10 products, we're not going to create a separate category. However, creating categories is ideal if you have more than 10 products, if you're on a paid plan, then you might want to structure and organize your online store with categories. However, this is optional. Now what we want to do is navigate down to payment. And this is where we can set up multiple payment methods for our customers to purchase our products. Now if you navigate up to the top, you can see that we have pay by cash. This method has already been enabled. Now if you sell products all across the country or internationally, then maybe you do not want to accept cash as a payment. However, if you're a local business, you have a physical store and customers come to your store, then in that case, the cash payment method would be ideal for you. We're going to go ahead and turn this off and then navigate down the page. What you want to do is take the time to connect the payment methods that work for you. Ideally, you want to connect all of these payment methods to make it easier for your customers to choose how they want to make payments. So if we come down, we can go ahead and simply add Stripe, Afterpay and PayPal. If you only want to add one payment method, we recommend adding PayPal. It's super straightforward and easy to set up. And this allows your customers to purchase your products through PayPal, credit and debit cards, and you can also set up invoicing. Now, as you can see down here next to account, we have the email that we use to sign up to Equid. Make sure that this is associated with your PayPal account before you go ahead and click enable PayPal. If this is not your correct PayPal email ID, then go ahead and change your PayPal account, then come down and click enable PayPal. And as you can see, with one click, we've enabled PayPal. Again, Equid makes it super easy for you to connect different payment types, as well as to set up shipping, which is what we're going to talk about next. Simply navigate down to shipping and pickup under payment. And this is where you want to take the time to set up different shipping and delivery methods. Now, depending on where your customers are based, you might want to create multiple different shipping methods. And it's very straightforward to do so. For example, if we go ahead and add a local delivery, let's say that this online store, this e-commerce store that we're creating today only sells products within New Zealand. Then what I can do is go ahead and click add delivery. And each of those shipping and delivery methods have these different options. You can add free delivery, conditional free delivery. So for example, offer free delivery for all orders over $100. You can add a flat rate. So a flat rate for all your products. And then you can also add custom rates. What I'm going to do is go ahead and set up a flat rate. I'm going to name this delivery method 
which is going to be called Local Delivery New Zealand. Then come down to Delivery Rates, I'm going to keep Amount Tax Inclusive, and then I'm going to add $5, which is the delivery rate for everyone in New Zealand that are purchasing products from my store. Then come down to Delivery Zone, and I want to select Advanced Settings, and I'm going to select New Zealand down here. And so this delivery and shipping method is only for our New Zealand customers. We also have other options down here that you can take the time to go through if you like. For example, set operating hours, ask for delivery date and time at checkout. So we're going to leave that as it is and come down and click save and finish. And then go ahead and make sure that all the information for this specific shipping and delivery method is correct. Then simply navigate back. And as you can see, we've enabled our first shipping, delivery, and pickup method. Then, for example, if I wanted to, I could add another shipping method for customers that are based in the US or Australia, Canada, or in another location. So again, Equid makes it super easy for you to set up your shipping, delivery, and pickup methods. Take the time to add your shipping methods, and then we can move on to the next exciting step, which is customizing our online store before we embed the online store into our Google site. Okay, so to customize your online store, simply navigate over to configuration and locate design. Okay, so let's navigate through customizing our overall look, feel, layout and appearance of our online store. Now, if we navigate up to image size, we can choose how we want to display our product images on our online store. We can choose large, medium, or we can choose small. And you can see a preview example of how our online store will look with all the changes we make on the left hand side. I'm going to click medium. However, you can change this at any time. And then I'm going to navigate down to image aspect ratio. I'm going to keep square selected. However, you can try each of these different options. And when your store's live, and if you don't like those options, you can always change them at any time. Then if we come down, I'm going to keep darken image background enabled. Then if we come down to product card details and layout, you can see the preview over here. Now you can see we have center content selected at the moment. If I click align content to the left, you can see this content is aligned to the left. I like the look of center content and so I'm gonna keep it at that. Then we have these options, product card frame, we can disable or enable, I'm gonna keep that disabled. Now a lot of these default settings are going to be correct, but again, it's all based on your personal preference, all these different changes. We can choose to show the price, the product SKU, stock keeping unit. We have the buy now down here, do not show the buy now. I want to show the buy now button so it looks like this. We also have the option to show on mouse hover, which is quite cool that's gonna show above or on top of the image. I'm going to click show, then main product image, show additional product image, do not show, I'm happy with that. Uh, category, name, position. Again, you can keep it like this or you can completely hide the category names. I'm gonna hide the category names for now and then navigate down the page to product page layout. Again, you can choose from these different options. I actually like the standard default option here and you can preview what your product page will look like. Then we have image gallery thumbnail. Again, I'm gonna keep horizontal selected. Then we have sidebar. These are the options over on the right hand side. Again, I'm going to keep all these selected. I'm gonna remove bread crumbs and I'm also going to remove stock availability labels. And then we have other options down here. Again, this is all based on personal preference. Your store's gonna be live, up and running. This is just all about the appearance of your online store and again, this is based on your business and your personal preferences. Then if we come down to storefront navigation and colors, we're gonna keep collapse categories selected. Then down here we have color options. I'm going to enable color adaption, which is going to use adaption technology to automatically repaint your store to match the colors of your website. In our case, that's gonna match the colors of our Google store. Then we can show the footer menu, sign in link, sort by options and breadcrumbs. We're gonna keep that all selected. And just like that, I'm happy with our online store. Now what we can do is we can actually embed this online store that we just created with Equid into our Google site. 
To do that, simply navigate up to overview below sales channel, and then navigate over to custom website. Add Equid to your custom website using our widgets. Equid blends in seamlessly into any websites. So go ahead and click learn more. And then all you need to do is simply click copy code to clipboard and embed our online store onto our store website page. So go ahead, jump back into your Google site. Okay, so here we are back inside our Google site. You can see that we're currently on the store page. Now what we want to do is navigate up to insert, then navigate down to embed. And here we want to click embed code. And then the code that we just copied from Equid, we want to paste in here. Then come down and click next. And all we need to do is click insert. And just like that, we've added our online store. Now, as you can see, it's not very responsive. We need to drag this website out, this widget out to show the entire page. So what I'm going to do is drag both the sides and the bottom and keep dragging until your entire online storefront is displayed on your Google site page. And as you can see, if we navigate up, you can see our online store is now complete. So as you can see by dragging the sides and the top and bottom, we can display the entire online store. Now let's quickly preview what our online store will look like before we go ahead and publish our online store so our customers can start purchasing our products. So to preview our online store, simply click preview. Woohoo, and just like that, we have a responsive online store on our Google site. Now, if we navigate up to the left-hand side, you can see that we have store selected. This is our online store website page, and you can see we have the four products that we added within Equid. Now, customers can go ahead and click on the image or click buy now. Now, you also wanna make sure that your online store is responsive across devices. So go ahead and select tablet to view your online store on tablet as well as on mobile. And as you can see, our online store is extremely responsive. Now, if we navigate back to desktop and if we click on one of these products, you can see that that's gonna take the customer to the product page. They can go ahead and they can navigate through the different products. They can also select the color that they want to buy, then they can add to bag, and then navigate down and click go to checkout. And as you can see, that's gonna take the customer to the checkout page where they can go ahead and purchase that product. So I like the look of that. What we're gonna do is exit out of preview, and when you're ready to launch your new online store and start receiving orders, simply navigate up to publish to publish your online store. And it's as simple as that. This is everything we wanted to cover in this Equid and Google Sites tutorial, guiding you through how to convert your Google site into an online store. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Google Sites and online store tutorial for beginners, helping you turn your Google site into an online store. Now if you have any questions about this process about Equid or Google Sites, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.